Hello YouTube. So I've recently gotten some uh, some messages and comments, people asking me, what do I think would be some just some very minimum basics just to put in a backpack, you know, to throw in the car and the truck. And so I thought, well, let's do a quick video and I'll show you guys just some some easy stuff, some basics that aren't going to cost you a whole lot of money. They're not going to be overly expensive, and it will uh, go a long way to help you. Should you be in a situation where you need to maybe leave where you are, or maybe you need to get home from a place where there's potentially danger, it's dangerous, or you know, there's uh, a conflict. So here's some basics that I've thought that will that will definitely help. Now, obviously, the first one I, on, that I'm going to point to is toilet paper. Goes without saying, toilet paper is is just a must-have. Um, you know, we've seen what the recent uh, COVID silliness brought us with all the toilet paper going off the shelves. So uh, that's that goes without saying. If you don't have a whole lot of toilet paper, or you think you should use could use some more in your home, go get some, stock up on some toilet paper. Please don't buy it all. There are other people out there, but let's make sure we have some toilet paper. And a roll of toilet paper is small and and doesn't take up a lot of space in the backpack. Uh, another thing to have in your backpack is some bottled water. Uh, you know, bottled water is obviously essential. You can only human beings can only go three days without water, so have some bottled water that'll fit in a backpack. It's they're not to, not large, right? These small 500 ml bottles don't take up a lot of space at all, really. And water is essential. And to go with water, obviously, we need some kind of food to eat. And Freeze-dried meals, I think, are, the, are really a good way to go. And they're super easy to, to, to prepare, right? You just add the water, you boil the water. You add the boiled water into these containers, into these packets. And they cook inside the packet. You let it stand for about 5 or 10 minutes. They cook, and you eat right out of the package. It's that simple. It's that easy. And the instructions for them are right on the back. So there's not a lot of, you know... Not a lot of thinking there, really. It's just that's fairly basic. There are a lot of different uh, products and brands out there, uh, companies that make these types of products, and the variety is is quite extensive. Of different types of meals. So, do some research, look and maybe f buy a few, try a few, see what you like. But seriously consider putting something like this inside your bag because obviously food and water are critical. If you ever in a situation where you need to, to, to get out of where you are, to go somewhere else, or you need to get home from wherever you are. So food is critical. Uh, some kind of light. This is just a headlamp that I happen to have. And this headlamp, in this case, has two modes. It's got the normal flashlight mode, and it also has the red mode. And you can use the red mode as, for a nighttime, you know, for uh, reading, looking, maybe you have a map, and you're looking at a map, or you're, you know, the idea of the red is that it makes it a little less easier to be seen from a distance. So uh, a flashlight or a headlamp of some sort is is, crit is also critical, but those are great, but without batteries, they're not going to run for very long. So make sure you stock enough batteries to run your headlamps and your flashlights and maybe some of your other electronics that you might decide to, to take with you. Without batteries, they're not going to run. So things to, to remember there. Uh, another thing that's going to be critically important is some kind of a knife, some kind of a cutting tool. Now, this is just a, a fixed blade uh, lower end hunting knife that I have here. And it comes with a sheath. But, it, you know, if you got a, in a situation where you need to cut something, uh, your cell phone's not going to do it. So you're going to, I highly recommend getting something to cut. It doesn't have to be a $700 knife. You know, you can buy a you know, $100 knife and it will serve your purpose just as well. Uh, so that you have something to cut with. Another option is a multi-tool. This is just my Leatherman. And multi-tools are great because they have pliers in them. They also have other small, you know, screwdriver heads, right, that can be utilized if you need to. Um, this multi-tool here also has, you know, has a small knife blade in it as well for cutting. So two options, two things to think about. Uh, both will fit in a backpack. So if you, maybe you want to buy both and put both in a backpack there's nothing wrong with that that's a great idea uh some kind of rope or paracord i think this is another great idea because you know you end up in a situation where 
you know, maybe you need to tie something down to a backpack perhaps, or maybe you're making shelter and rope will be great to tie with. So it's not heavy, right? I mean, you can get 50 feet or 100 feet of paracord like this, and it doesn't take up a lot of space in your backpack, and it's nice and light. So that's another very worthwhile thing to put in a backpack. Uh, another thing that they don't forget about is the first aid kit. You know, you're in a situation where maybe there's high stress, your trips, slips, and falls are going to happen. There's, there's just no way around that. It's bound to happen. A first aid kit is, is, is an important piece of equipment because if you get hurt, and it might only be, you know, a scrape on the knee, but without the, the means to, to disinfect and to clean a wound, uh, that could be a problem, right? So small first aid kits like this, they work. They've got some basics in them, some wipes, some bandages, some band-aids, you know, maybe a triangle bandage. They're not overly expensive, and they again, they're small. They'll fit in the backpack. A good thing to have because being able to, to, to have a first aid kit is going to be critical if you need to you know, help yourself or potentially come in to cross somebody else who maybe needs some help. Something like this can, can really help out. And on that note, on first aid, is taking a first aid course. You know, there, there are lots of first aid courses out there and I recommend taking a first aid course because having those skills uh, will absolutely save a life if, it ever, if a situation ever arises. So those are good things to think about. Uh, another thing that I will look, talk about is a water bottle of some kind to carry water. Uh, this is just the one I have here. It's just, you know, plastic. But there are other options out there. You can get stainless steel is a good option, right? Um, this is plastic. I mean, there's Nalgene bottles. There are other you know, military canteens you can buy. This one's just for the, the, the demonstration purposes. Is, but the point I'm making is have a some kind of water bottle now. Again, I would, I would recommend a stainless steel, you know, bottle. Uh, a stainless steel travel mug might even work as well, right? Because something, if you had to make a fire, you could, uh, could make fire and then have the stainless steel to boil water to, you know, help cook your food, right? So I've just, I've just had this just for demonstration purposes, but having something, probably a, a bottle of some kind made of metal uh, would be a good idea to have. Uh, another thing that might be helpful to have is some kind of a hat or way to cover your head. Obviously, weather is a factor, right? We never know what the weather might be. So maybe it's wet and raining out. Well, a hat will, um, you know, keeps the rain off you, which helps keep you dry. So something like a hat would help. Maybe it's sunny out and it obviously helps keep the sun out of your eyes and, and from beating down on top of your head. So that's another uh, thing to think about. Uh, some other things that uh, I don't have on here, but they're absolutely worth mentioning. Obviously a lighter. If you don't uh, have a lighter, well, lighter is a good way to start fire. So without a lighter, uh, unless you want to rub sticks together, uh, a lighter is absolutely a good thing to have. And another item to think about having in amongst all this is a tarp. You know, a 6x8 tarp would probably do it. I mean, if you can find... A, a good decent sized tarp that's not too overly you know bulky that's going to be good for cover right and obviously with things like paracord and you got a knife you'll be able to make a, a small maybe an overnight shelter to, to keep you out of the weather right so those are other good items to have a survival blanket if you can uh, find one of those you know, those you know those can be found on you know amazon ebay you know your, your sporting goods stores will likely have those but the one thing is, is that to have these items is great, but you obviously you've got to put them in something because you're not going to just carry them all with your hands. So a simple, just a simple backpack. This is, this backpack is not fancy. This is, you know, I bought this at a local sporting goods store a couple of years ago. And it's not anything fancy. It's got one big main compartment. It's got another smaller compartment here and one on the front. There's nothing extravagant about this. This isn't military. This isn't, there's no molly on this. But, you know, it's it's just, it's got some basic straps. It's got a, a chest strap there. I can hold water bottles. Well, water bottles will fit into there, right, on one side. I can put this other bottle on the other side here. Um, they have tighten-ups. There's a tighten-up strap that I can use. And the best part about a backpack like this is it's, it's not going to be overly heavy, right? So all of my items will fit inside 
this backpack. You know, and I'm not having to worry about having some big bulky um, container that I got to pack around, and I can put all these items in this pack to take them with me whenever I'm gonna I'm gonna leave and go somewhere, or if I have to get somewhere from wherever I am, this backpack will allow me to do that. And there you go. All the items in the backpack, it's not going to be overly heavy. And I'm going to be able to take it with me and have those items. So, options on backpacks are, there's many. And do some research, find out what size you like, go try some on. You know, you can spend all kinds of money on this stuff. But the point of this was to show you that these are just basics. They're still going to work. It's still going to be helpful to have this type of thing. If you're ever in a situation where you don't have it and you're you need to, to, to get out of where you are or go somewhere else safe, this type of setup is gonna be a huge help to you in those types of situations. So things to think about. Let's uh, let's let's pay attention out there because we're living in a in a world and a society right now where you know I think that uh, we need to really start paying attention to what's going on in the world. So I'll leave that with you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you on the next video.